Hi guys, Brock here from Doha RFC. Today I'm going to go over some simple drills to help you with your speed, power and accuracy in your pass. Before I go over the drills, I'm going to go over three common mistakes I see with players when trying to create power in the pass. Okay, so the first common mistake we're going to go over in the, in the pass today is the zip. Okay, so a lot of players grab the ball here, bring it below the hip, and when they pass they tend to do a loop of pass because they're starting from low to high. Okay, to cancel that dip out, we want to be starting the ball over the hip and we really want to get our triceps firing, okay? So with a high elbow tricep and we really need to cut through. Okay, so the second mistake I usually see is reloading. A lot of players tend to grab the ball here, look, reload the pass and swing through to get power. Okay, to cancel out the reload, we want to grab the ball here and we want full extension. Okay, so from here we need full extension, pass through, again, Firing through that tricep. Okay, so the third mistake is falling in the pass. We don't tend to see people fall in the pass, and they're coming through here, all their body weight's going one way, and they've got no power in their pass. Okay, so for an example, I'm falling this way, and I'm passing, okay? I'm not generating enough power through the ball, because my weight's going the other way. So to help this, we're going to fix this by putting our chest a little bit over the ball, just slight, slight chest over the ball, from the hip, and now we're going to focus on our hip and, and chest rotation, okay? To follow through in the pass. Okay, so from here, we want our chest and hips firing through towards the ball. This way will stop us falling away. Okay, so in this exercise, to help our passing with speed and power, we have a resistant band. As you see here, we're sitting up above the hip height. Hip height. This is to stop the dip, okay? Second of all, we've got a high elbow here. Engage the core. Fire the tricep, so now this stops the reload, okay? He's pushing straight through. Okay, so Adam's going to give us a few examples. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. We really want full extension and these triceps firing, okay? So now try and engage the core a bit more. Bring your chest over a little bit, engage the core, solid base, push through again. Nice, couple more. Okay, you know, to simulate a more like rugby, let's get our target arm up. Okay, this target arm is usually gives our power arm a place to meet to create accuracy, okay? Go through again. Nice, good shoulder and chest rotation. Another one. Perfect, good stuff, nice. Good, okay, after the resistance exercises, we can put it all into practice here. I like to use a, a box or some plates to get it above hip height. If we don't have that, simple off the wall, make a mark, also works, okay? So here it's going to feel quite awkward, the elbow is going to feel quite cramped in here, but it's important we get this high elbow, stop the reload, pushing off the hip, and we're going to fire the tricep, engage the core, and put a wall into our pass now. Guys, a couple more. Last one. Okay, nice. We can finish with this exercise after a bit of gym work. This will help our rugby big time. Hi right, guys, I hope the video helped today. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel uh, and there will be more videos to come in the coming weeks. Okay.